Well, first of all, the system is kind of idiot proof. Well, my name's Doug Hart, and my wife and I moved to Duxbury in the house that was formerly on this property in 1999. And uh, we then took part of it down and built this house in 2007. Okay, well, my wife and I have always heated with wood in some fashion. Our first wood stove in our first house was Yodel 602, and uh, we've moved on from there. And one of my really good friends lived in Maine, and he had a tarm wood furnace, actual wood, not pellets. Mm -hmm. So when we decided to build this house, we looked into what some of the alternatives were. And I concluded that at my age and planning to stay here for a long time, I wouldn't want wood. So we opted for pellets and we got a tarm pellet furnace. It was a good experience because it was our first experience, uh -huh. but it was very hands-on. Every weekend we had to shut the system down, give it a thorough cleaning. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was, a, it was a novelty at first, but then a big job. Uh -huh. And then after a while, the whole system failed. Yeah. So we started looking into, well, do we just go to gas or something or oil? Mm -hmm. And then we learned that, in fact, the technology had come quite a way. Mm -hmm. And we ended up you know, hearing about Ted and his firm. We did a lot of research, spoke to a lot of people about this particular system and mm -hmm. opted to go with it. Ted, is he really pays attention to detail. And if you looked at the installation down there, and if you'd seen the installation before with the tarm, where there were pipes just sort of like going everywhere, he has everything laid out just very meticulously. So I appreciate the fact that we were going to get not only a good system, but a good installer and a good person to maintain the system. Hi, I'm Ted Fountain, and I'm the owner operator of New Day Energy. And we are a wood pellet boiler specialist and installation company. Uh, this is a Maine Energy Systems wood pellet boiler. It's made in Bethel, Maine. The uh, system itself here uh, consumes a densified biomass material, pellets, um, that comes from a hopper located uh, outside in this particular case, but it can be located in the basement. Um, the function of the system operates like this. The pellets come in from these hoses into a day tank, which stores the fuel in a 120 pound hopper. This is the main boiler section of the boiler. It consumes the fuel. Uh, emissions on these systems are very low. Um, vents out a normal chimney path. And the leftover pellet uh, ash is augered out of the boiler and into a small cassette where the homeowner can remove the cassette and dump it outside at their leisure. So the amount of time an owner needs to spend operating one of these units as far as maintenance is concerned, uh, about three tons of fuel is consumed before it will email you and let you know to come down and empty the hopper. An average house might use three to six tons a year. So you might empty the hopper uh, that contains the ash two or three times a year. Um, the boiler is automated outside of all of that and so you are going to find yourself burning wood pellet um, fuel without having to tend to your system, like a wood pellet stove would require loading and uh, cleaning on a weekly basis. The system also has email capability, so you can be aware of what's going on with it at any time. Uh, next to the boiler here is the water tank, and this comes as part of the system with the rebate program in Massachusetts. And uh, adds the um, ability for domestic hot water. Well, I like it because it's environmentally friendly, and um, I try and be environmentally friendly to the extent that I can, and I simply didn't like the idea of using you know, natural gas or oil to heat my house. So if there's an alternative, you know, as I said, we've been doing this in one form or another uh, literally for the last 40 years. And so you, know, you start with wood, and it's a natural progression as the technology gets better. You just sort of move along with the technology. It's been outstanding. It's been everything we had wanted. My major concern was 
going cold turkey with no backup furnace. Mm -hmm. And Ted assured me that it would work, and Ted was right, it did work. Well, first of all, the system is kind of idiot proof. Uh -huh. um, it, there's very little interaction between the owner and the system. I mean, every three weeks to a month, I go down, I empty the hopper. That's all I have to do. And I simply unhook it and I dump it into a, an ash bin. And then literally once a season, I take the ash bin, I carry it out into the woods and I scatter it on the, in the woods. And we're talking about probably 10 pounds of ashes once a year. I, I think the reason I would suggest that someone else get a pellet furnace is because it is environmentally friendly. And I think the first question someone would ask, well, um, is it as easy to operate as a gas furnace or an oil furnace? And I would say the answer is virtually yes. If you don't mind going down once a month and emptying a hopper, then it's just as easy to live with as an oil furnace.